back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight is a comedian you've seen in Wet Hot American Summer and the characters on Netflix. He currently stars in Search Party. May I cut in? No. No, 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 no. Oh, Elliot, no. Not this time. <sighs> okay, just don't. I'm with Luke Bell, and I'm really happy. We're so happy. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but that's just not the way it's going to be. Mark. Mark. We are meant to be together. You are smart and chosen and so insanely special, and I celebrate your soul, okay? And I want us to be in love forever, even if, like, one of us, like, goes to jail or something. <laughs> like, if you went to jail, like, I would totally just still want to be with you. Please welcome John Early. <laughs> Hey, hello. Thanks for being on. That shirt's fantastic. What do you mean? <laughs> um, it's incredible. Like it's a Russian dancer first, or something. Thank you. It's very Liberace. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Thank you for now, having me. I understand me. that in that in, in that uh, in the show you're uh, like uh, a, a guy living. I don't know if you're a hipster, like a guy living in Brooklyn or something yeah, like that. Yeah. But you're from the South, like I am. Where are you from in the South? I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, honey. Hello. <laughs> um, How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, honey? I'm fine. Okay, sure. Bless your heart. Bless your pee picking little heart. Now, uh, <laughs> did, did growing up in the South influence your comedy? Yes, hugely. I mean, yeah. Like, both my parents are ministers. And I'm wow. fine. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, were yeah. they ministers and we're good, in the we're same good. church? No. They, my, my dad was a Presbyterian minister. My mom was Disciples of Christ, different congregations. Wow. Um, but truly, deeply liberal, thank God. I'm fine. Um, <laughs> But, okay. um, but yeah, but they were, they were ministers, and I, I, I just think kind of growing up amongst those rituals, like the punch, and, you know, it, it's very influential. The punch. I the punch. Gonna, the punch. <laughs> I thought you going to say, you know, saying service sermon. No, oh, the no, punch. no. That stuff was over my head. I was, like, looking at the punch the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I think just because they were, like, they were, you know, I'm, like, four years old watching my parents, like, you know, in robes, you know, assuming it's like divine authority, you sure. know, in front of a congregation. And then I'm like watching them going like, I saw you like sprinting towards the phone naked this morning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I saw you kind of like ah, trying to get to the phone in time, fully nude. And now you're up there being like, huh, you know? <laughs> and I think that that difference mm -hmm. is what kind of birthed my sensibility. Well, um, the holidays are coming up. As yeah. I said, you, you look like a Russian dancer. <laughs> and Thank you. Do you, have tradition, do you have Christmas traditions you look to every year you look forward to? Well, yeah, as you know, you know as a devout atheist, Christmas is huge for me. <laughs> sure. Um, uh, especially Christmas music. John? Um... <laughs> So I'm gonna sing you my favorite Christmas song, if that's okay. Since you had asked, I think. <laughs> I would be, I would be, this is all overwhelming me a bit, but yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure, 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 sure. I'd be happy to. Again, you had asked. Um, I'm gonna sing a song by Miss Brittany Jean Spears. Okay. Sure. Who I, you know, coincidentally do a shocking impression of. <laughs> Born completely out of love, by the way. This song is called My Only Wish This Year. It was on Now That's What I Call Christmas 72. Uh, it failed to make a dent in the culture. <laughs> but it did, you know, it did touch my adolescent gay heart, okay? And that's because she does something in the song that is so vocally insane. Um, she does an isolated vocal fry. She's obviously very famous, I don't know if you know this, she's very famous for her vocal fry, her, you know? but typically that leads into a note, okay? That blossoms into a note. So typically, she uses the vocal fry to go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but this is the only time in all of her discography, and I would know, uh, where she just does the vocal fry completely on its own. It doesn't go into a note, okay? So I'm gonna do the song for you now, and I'm gonna raise my hand when the moment's coming up, okay? So focus, so that when that happens, that's when you know I'm gonna do the thing, okay? 
I am not doing this for comedic effect. I'm not I'm not exaggerating. This is not like my funny take on Britney. This is I'm I'm channeling her tonight for you. Happy holidays. Let's hit it, John. <laughs> Christmas Eve, I just can't sleep Would I be wrong for taking a peek? Cause I heard that you're coming in town Santa, can you hear me? I really hope that you're on your way With something special for me or your sleigh Oh, Santa, make my dreams come true Santa, can you hear me? I want my baby, baby I want someone to love me, someone to hold Baby, 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 baby. He'll be on my own under the mistletoe Santa, can you hear me? I have been so Double clap, then I sing All I want is one thing Tell me my true love is here He's all I want just for me Underneath my Christmas tree I'll be waiting here Santa, that's my only wish This year Wow, thank you, oh my God! Wow, they're good Wow, wow. Season two of Search Party is available now. John Early, everybody. We'll be right back with a special performance by Mr. John Baptiste. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.